Hello, my name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to conduct a talent review meeting and calibrate workers. I want to take a look at our team and discuss who has ratings we want to calibrate. And while we're reviewing our talent, I also want to look at our succession plans. This is the talent review dashboard that displays the selected review population based on their performance and potential. I can change the rating view as needed, but right now I want to focus on performance and potential. If we need to, we can focus the meeting in a number of ways, such as a particular manager's workers, specific locations, jobs, grades, and competencies. However, right now I want to look at the entire review population. We can also enhance the display and select what we want to view on the dashboard. If I hover over a worker, I can see more information about that worker specific to the current view. I can select a worker and then see a list of additional actions I can take on that worker, such as viewing more details. I can also right-click a worker to see the additional actions. Before I calibrate ratings, I want to see how these workers were plotted in their most recently completed talent review meeting. We can see who's moved and whose ratings are unchanged. For example, Elaine was adaptable talent in her last review meeting, while Lillian was still key talent. Based on the information we've looked at, we think Lillian is a rising talent, so I'll move her to that box and confirm her new ratings. I've got three people in the holding area, which means they're missing one or both ratings for this particular view. I can see who these workers are and then move them as needed. I can also switch to the table view to get an overview of all the ratings and change ratings quickly. I can associate succession plans and talent pools to a review meeting. As we're rating workers, we can also discuss which, if any, of these workers would be suitable successors for the vice president of HR position. We've already identified two potential successors, and based on our discussions, we think Lillian is also a good candidate. I can drill down into the succession plan to review the potential successors we've identified and look at the impact of loss, risk of loss, and other ratings for each one. I can also add or create new succession plans and associate them to this meeting as needed. We can have the same discussion around talent pools and add workers to them, just like succession plans. If we have more changes we want to make later, I can save and close this meeting and come back to it. Once everyone has been evaluated and we've finished calibrating ratings, I'll submit the meeting and the ratings are updated in each worker's profile. This concludes the Conducting a Talent Review Meeting tutorial. Thank you.